severe drought in Texas. The nation's most drought-stricken state is deep frying under relentless 100 degree days and waterways are drying up, especially in the hardest hit area covering approximately 350 miles across south central Texas. That's making people worried about the water supply and how long it might last. The water table's falling and falling and falling like a whole lot of other people around here, said the general manager of Liberty Hill Water Supply Corporation and a 60-year resident of the town northwest of Austin. He said, this is the worst I can recall seeing it ever. I tell you, it's just pretty bleak. There are 230 Texas public water systems under mandatory water restrictions, including those in and near San Antonio, Dallas, Houston, and Austin. Another 60 or so have asked for voluntary cutbacks. Water levels are down significantly in lakes, rivers, and wells around Texas. 77 Texas counties in severe drought. According to drought statistics released by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, 77 of Texas's 254 counties are in extreme or an exceptional drought, the most severe categories. No other state in the continental U.S. has even one area in those categories. In the bone dry San Antonio, Austin area, the conditions that started in 2007 are being compared to the devastating drought of the 1950s. There have been 36 days of 100 degrees or more this year in an area where there are usually closer to 12 and among the most obvious problems are the lack of water in Lake Travis and Lake Buchanan near Austin. Two massive reservoirs along the Colorado, Colorado River that provide drinking water for more than one million people and also are popular swimming and boating spots. Streams and rivers that feed the lakes have all but dried up according to the Lower Colorado River Authority. We're seeing deer and armadillo and other animals in places we don't typically see them. They're starving for water and food. At the Oasis, a popular restaurant with a deck overlooking Lake Travis, the islands are even starting to grow heavy vegetation. Lake Travis is more empty than full, down approximately 54%. All but one of the 12 boating ramps are closed because they no longer reach the water, and the last may go soon. The receding waters have even revealed old stolen cars shoved into the lake years ago, authorities say. San Antonio Policing Water Offenders San Antonio, which relies on the Edwards Aquifer for its water, is enduring its driest 23-month period since weather data was recorded starting in 1885, according to the National Weather Service. The aquifer has been hoovering just above 640 feet deep, and if it dips below that, the city will issue its harshest watering restrictions yet. The city is not just sitting around though. A total of 30 off-duty officers and other employees are working overtime to patrol the city looking for people illegally watering. And since April, approximately 
1,500 people have been cited and ordered to pay fines ranging from $50 to over 1000 There have been smatterings of light rain in their area this week, but not enough to make any difference. Hopefully, though, the end is in sight. Victor Murphy, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service, said an El Nino system is developing in the Pacific Ocean. Supposedly, theoretically, that phenomenon is usually followed by increased rainfall in Texas in the fall. Anyway, yes, this is not the only place that they have drought. Maybe not quite as severe, but there's drought going on in California, in New Mexico, and Nevada, and other western states. And this drought in Texas, in the southern part of Texas, is most likely, or probably, the worst that has ever been there, according to human history. And yes, once again, climate change is real. It's happening. It's happening right now. It's not something just happening in the future but it's happening at the very present time and it's ongoing it's getting worse the weather all around the world is beginning to change and in many drastic ways either it rains too much or it rains too little with extreme temperature swings and once again all this all these things they are more signs of the end times transition days. There is a transition and it's happening all around the world and it too is ongoing day by day.